All right, this one is going to be the main event of the evening. WrestleMania 33's main event is going to be the Universal Champion Goldberg going up against Brock Lesnar. And here we are, we're probably going to talk about this match longer than this match is actually going to happen inside of the ring. WrestleMania 20's event, um, they honestly had a, a good style match. I want to say that it went about 10 minutes. I haven't watched it, honestly, in a really long time. But in that match, uh, basically it's very famous because of the fact that crowds in Madison Square Garden turned on this match. Huge. Nobody wanted to see this. It was well publicized um, in mainstream news as well as wrestling news that Brock Lesnar was leaving WWE due to the fact that he didn't like the travel and felt that he could maybe make it playing professional football and had an open invitation from the Minnesota Vikings head coach Mike Tice at the time to try and play on the line for the Vikings. He went to open tryouts. Um, he did not make the team, but honestly did um, stay with the team longer um, than many people thought he was going to make it. Um, from there, um, Brock went back to, to wrestling as well as, I believe, trying to, to get into professional boxing before settling down on MMA, which then launched him into UFC, which then brought him back to WWE. Um, Goldberg's uh, line basically was uh, the day that uh, WCW closed. He was called by Time Warner and offered um, a buyout on his contract, where I believe they offered him less than 50% of his deal, where he basically told Time Warner over the phone to go fuck themselves. Um, Goldberg would wait until the deal finally ended up and then signed a, a one-year contract to work for WWE under the understanding that he would be having a lot of wrestling matches with The Rock. Um, you know, The Rock came in, they did the, the one match right off the bat, which ended up being the only match that they would have. Um, because at the time, Rock was splitting time between WWE as well as making movies in Hollywood. Rock's career really started to take off, and um, Rock wasn't seen um that year until WrestleMania when he came back to do the match, him and Mick Foley against the members of Evolution minus Triple H. Um, Goldberg's year um, in WWE without The Rock um, basically was not what he thought it was going to be out to be. Um, he battled Triple H um, you know, on screen and off screen as well as Vince McMahon to the point where the contract was over. It wasn't even negotiated if Goldberg would come back again. WWE didn't want to have Goldberg. Goldberg didn't want to have WWE. And they both went their separate ways. Um, Goldberg, of course, would live on making uh, television shows about you know cars, I believe, for the Speed Channel, uh, as well as a, a podcast for Podcast One, where I don't even know if he still makes it anymore. I can honestly tell you that uh, I, know, I don't hear commercials for it. I don't hear hype about it. All that I know is that when the, the people who gave it a chance um, basically were hoping that Goldberg was going to talk about wrestling, and he never talked about wrestling. It was almost like for Goldberg, it was a sore subject that nobody uh, wanted to bring up, um, but uh, there was always that rumor that would pop up that Goldberg was wanting to wrestle one more match uh, to be able to show his kids what he had done, um, you know, what made him famous, and basically what was paying the bills. Um, Goldberg always did, you know, autograph shows uh, where he would reach out to the fans, and he was always a really nice guy. To the people who showed him respect, he would show them respect back. Uh, much like Bully Ray is, if you've ever met Bully Ray at a WrestleCon event or any um, sort of autograph signing or something like that. Um, you know, Goldberg is a guy that knows you know, what butter is bread, and for him to go to those autograph signings, he made a lot of money to do those, and for the people that wanted to pay and be a part of them, he always uh, treated them with a lot of respect back. Um, you know, Goldberg um, got the chance to do the video game commercial, and then from the huge video response uh, to the, the, the video, um, you know, Vince realized it might be time to bring him back, and when they brought him back, um, it was a lot bigger than I think WWE even thought it was going to be. They thought that maybe this would be something that they could build Survivor Series around as a one-off. The one-off ended up being, you know, uh, let's see, he did the he he, he did the uh, the Rumble. Um, he did uh, Roadblock. Did he do Roadblock or did he do Fastlane to get those ones mixed up? Uh, but you know, then he ended up coming back and doing this WrestleMania match. This is this is the one match that I honestly thought that he was going to do. I didn't think we were going to get the other ones. I thought that they would sort of you know bring him back on Raw and they would build up to the point where they would do the WrestleMania match because WrestleMania is always where the money's been. But 
for the WWE to be smart and, and to put the Goldberg on those other shows, um, it sort of gives those other shows a little bit of meaning um, for the people that really want to see Goldberg. Uh, I've never really been the biggest fan of his. Um, I don't even like him being champion right now for the same reason that I don't like Brock Lesnar being champion. I, I don't like being one of those guys that says WWE House Shows has to have a championship match, but honestly, I love WWE House Shows, and even though I didn't miss out on going to a house show without a championship match. I know that they build everyone as being stars and anybody can main event a show, but when the title's there, it makes it seem like it's a big deal to me. Um, but, uh, you know, for a WrestleMania main event, I don't think this is going to be one that people really remember as, you know, oh, good old WrestleMania 33, Goldberg versus Brock, the year of 2017. It's, it's going to be one that is honestly skipped over in the history of time. WrestleMania 27 was a good main event. People don't talk about Cena versus uh, um, Cena versus The Miz. It just it is it is what it is. I think that Goldberg is going to lose this match. I think that honestly if, if WWE and Goldberg uh, break off um, their their current deal right now, I don't want to say that they're, they're going to be losing money, but I think that honestly they got to find something for Goldberg to do. I don't really want to see him as the guest GM um, of Monday Night Raw. Um, I, I I don't think that Goldberg would even want to do that. I, I don't think he wants to be on Monday Night Raw week in and week out now that Mick Foley is fired. But um, and, and I don't really want him to have to come back, you know, six months from now and have a match like Sting did after WrestleMania 31, where he wrestled against Seth Rollins for the WWE Championship. We've already seen him be champion. Um, I, I don't really know how you build Goldberg as having a dream match, but you know that's why they have creative. I, I would love to see Goldberg come back, um, you know, maybe after SummerSlam, um, and, and maybe bring some hype uh, to the after um, SummerSlam lull that they go into with Night of Champions and Hell in the Cell, and, and basically where they just run out of gas uh, come TLC in December, and they're just you're just hoping for the Royal Rumble to come along and give people that that glimpse that WrestleMania is right around the corner. So. I'm picking Brock in this one. Um, you know, Brock, you know, finally got some offense, you know, after losing um at Survivor Series and then you know being thrown out and eliminated at the Royal Rumble. Um, you know, he's been able to to, to hit the F five. We haven't seen um Goldberg do anything since then. Um they are going to be having the face to face, but in you know, WrestleMania go home shows uh history. We've never seen guys touch in a long, long time. So I'm guessing these guys are just going to look at each other. They'll have the huge row of security making sure that these guys don't get anywhere near each other. Uh, we've already seen this now that I think about it before the Survivor Series where people thought that Goldberg actually got hurt wrestling against the extras. But um, that's why the match lasted so short. But eight minutes here. We'll see if the match goes longer than this. I'm hoping that this is about how long it, it goes. About an eight-minute match at WrestleMania. And um, we'll see what goes down. I'm picking, uh, I'm picking Brock and taking the money.